So let's go over the payment screen as I take you through doing a regular basic payment first. Then we'll get to prepayment and adjustments or write-offs. Entering a basic payment is very simple. First, you need to select your date. By default, it's set to today, but maybe today's Monday and you received this payment last week but just got swamped and haven't been able to apply it until today. You can change the date here, either by manually typing it in or by clicking the little calendar here and choosing a different date. I'll go ahead and leave mine for today. Next, you'll want to select your client. I'll go ahead and choose this top client here. And you'll see as soon as I did, a few things happened. First of all, their invoice and payment information populated down below. Also, I now have the option to click here and see their client log, send them an email, or go to their client inquiry. That was grayed out before. See, it's all very simple and user-friendly. Now, even if I didn't know the client name that I wanted to work with, I could click here and do an advanced search by name, email, address, or phone or click here and do it by invoice code or invoice number. So I have my client, now I need to put in the amount. Let's say that today my client is paying $2,000. Now as soon as I type that in, you see it comes down here into the amount to attach. Next I need to choose my type. By default, it goes to payments, but I can change that to adjustment if that's what we're doing, but we'll get to adjustments later, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Then I need to put in my bank account. This should be set up under Tools and Firm Properties. Mine has been set up already, so I'm going to go ahead and choose my bank. Then I put in the method. Is it by one of the credit cards or by cash or check? I'll leave mine as Visa. But you see here you can also add a method, edit one, or delete one. And description. This box really comes in handy if a client is paying by check. You'll want to type in the check number in here. And when it comes to adjustments, you'll definitely want to put the reason for the write-off in here. But again, we'll get to that later. Let's take a look at the screen down below. Right now, our invoices, finance charges, and unapplied payments are being shown in list view. If we wanted to show them in column view, we can just click here, and you can see they're brought out in columns. I'm going to go ahead and go back to list view. I can also expand all or collapse all. I can do that manually in each section here by expanding all or collapsing all. So going over our columns, I'll go ahead and expand this one to show you. Each of these sections will show you the total number of invoices or finance charges or unapplied payments, the dates, the total invoice amount and the invoice amount for each, the total prior payments and any prior payments that have been made on each invoice or finance charge, the current payments, we haven't made any current payments yet, and the total unpaid. So under invoices, total unpaid is $2,097.81. Total unpaid on each of the invoices that makes up that amount here. Total unpaid of finance charges is here. Total unapplied, we have zero unapplied payments, which is, which is basically a prepayment. It's a payment that has not been applied to an invoice yet. We don't have any here for this client. And our total AR is down here. So what we need to do is take this $2,000 here and attach it to something to start paying it off. Let's say our client just wants to pay off the oldest invoices first. So if I go ahead and click all here on the invoices, it's going to do that. It's going to take the oldest invoices and start paying them off first. And you can see that it's got the amount to attach, $2,000. There will be $0 remaining because it's going to use all of that. You can see our current payments have changed. Now once I click on attach, you'll see the unpaid amounts will change, as will our AR. So let's go ahead and attach now. And you can see that now under invoices, we only have $97.81 unpaid. We've attached the entire $2,000. There's nothing left remaining. And our AR now is basically just what's left of that invoice and the finance charge, bringing us to $150.25. And that's how you do a basic payment.